What's going on there, everyone? This particular situation makes me happy. And I know, as a Christian, I shouldn't be happy at other people's misfortunes. But Michael Avenatti, he has proved that he is on a whole nother level of retardation. So, everyone knows, just about everyone knows, who Michael Avenatti is. This was a, a terrible lawyer. He is a terrible lawyer. I don't know how he's managed to keep his uh, law licenses and everything that he's supposed to have. It's amazing. I'm sure after this situation, he will not have those anymore, regardless of what happens. Michael Avenatti, uh, a lot of people forget also that he's technically a presidential candidate. Technically. That's hilarious. But um, he's the former attorney to Stormy Daniels. You know, the horse face lady that um, apparently is a porn star and apparently her and Donald Trump had some issue going on. And uh, Trump paid or had someone pay. Either he paid it or he had one of his lawyers pay for her silence, which is, you're allowed to do that. It's sketchy, but you're allowed to do that. But uh, he has been, Michael Avenatti has been charged in two different places with a number of felonies. These are white-collar crime felonies. But in uh, California, Los Angeles prosecutors have charged him with wire and bank fraud. And in, what is it, the Southern District of New York, because they just love to sue or attack everybody. They're kind of ridiculous. Um, he's getting charged with extortion over 20 million dollars now I don't know how Michael Avenatti has gotten this far in life he's, he's had a chip on his shoulder that's for sure I mean a lot of people might not know but he's also a professional race car driver since what 2010 ish he's competed in like 33 34 professional races so, so that's pretty a little fun fact but that's real weird that this guy who who seemingly has a lot going for him and, and is able to talk himself into and out of a lot of precarious situations has got himself wrapped up in some serious serious charges I'm talking about charges combined could could probably will not come close but could see him in jail for over a hundred years now I'm sure they're not gonna throw the book at him but they should but they should I've noticed especially with today the whole Jesse Smollett thing coming out and all 16 felony charge all charges dropped against him on the state level but we're seeing a lot of charges get dropped here lately with these high high profile public figures what is going on with that because to me these high profile public figures should be held even more accountable for their actions because they are public figures if say some little old person like me did this type of crime right here I'd be in prison for the rest of my life, for sure, for sure, guaranteed, because there wouldn't be a big media push about it, you know, there wouldn't be cameras everywhere, it wouldn't be so high profile, it would just be me going to court and going to federal prison. But you're seeing a lot of things happen to where big names are getting charged with big crimes and nothing's happening, like, it's all being just swept under the rug. Now, we've all known forever that this goes on mainly with Hollywood this has always gone on in Hollywood we've seen people 
get away with literal murder in Hollywood. But, uh, so I don't, I don't think too much is going to come of this. I do think he's going to serve some time, though, because what I believe is a lot of people are just sick of Michael Avenatti. They're really sick of him. He's an abrasive, annoying, pompous ass. I mean, he's a ridiculous human being. Yeah, he's all about himself and money. And money is the root of all evil. But, uh, yeah, he really screwed up. He screwed up bad this time. First off, he tried to extort Nike. A company that is way too big for him to try to extort. First off, you don't try to extort anybody. That is a coward's way of doing business. Second off, you don't tweet about the extortion that you're trying to do. How stupid is this guy for real? I know he's got a lot of financial worries because uh, when Trump won his suit against him and Stormy Daniels, well, he has to pay for Stormy Daniels and he has to pay Trump's legal fees. So that put him back pretty bad. He's been having a lot of hard times with his businesses and all this. He's been in a financial bind. I've noticed one thing. When you take on Trump, you're screwing yourself. You're in a bad way. Trump really is one of those Teflon people. He looks out for himself and he makes sure not to get himself wrapped up in some bullshit. Everyone should see that by now. Especially with the Mueller report coming out. This has been one of the best weeks the president's ever had. I mean, good lord. It's really amazing. I mean, you gotta think about it. The Mueller report came out, which pretty much between Mueller and Attorney General Barr has has exonerated. I don't care what the, the liberals and the Democrats on TV, all the pundits on there say, oh, it didn't prove anything, blah, blah, blah. And everyone keeps saying that he's been exonerated. I don't see where it's, it says he clearly hasn't been exonerated. No, Mueller said he didn't exonerate him for one of the two things they were looking for, which was the obstruction of justice, I think. He said he wasn't exonerating him. Well, Rosenstein and Barr went through it. And after they went through it, they both agreed that there is no case for obstruction of justice. Bam. Exonerated. But, uh, man, I'm all over the place right now. It's been one of those weeks. And it's only Tuesday. My God. If the news keeps up like this, whew, it's going to be a busy week. But yeah, back to Avenatti. Uh, he, went up, he went after Nike. He's been in communication with uh, spokespeople from Nike or whatever they are, lawyers. And, uh, but the dumbass went on. I love Twitter and I hate Twitter. See, I only go on Twitter very rarely nowadays because it's I don't like Twitter. I don't like Jack Dorsey or whatever. I don't like the just the underlying philosophy they have for their business model. They are one-sided, very partisan, and uh, they hate conservative talking points and views. So half of my tweets, I don't even think it's seen by people. But I digress. He went on Twitter and said, right after talking to the people from Nike, telling them about how he was planning on extorting them for $20 million, which that also shows his greed because he was only looking to get like 1.5 or something million for the client that he was doing this for. And he was going to keep the other 18.5 million because he's a greedy piece of crap. But uh, Michael Avenatti's tweet, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, we will be holding a press conference to disclose a major high school slash college basketball scandal perpetrated by Nike that we have uncovered. This criminal conduct reaches the highest levels of Nike and involves some of the biggest names in college basketball. Well, you know what's funny is that uh, Nike's doing just fine today.
How are you doing, Mr. Aminati? Not too well. But yeah, so Aminati is in custody. So that press conference is never going to happen. It's 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 a wild week. The odds of Abinadi, like I said, of him getting up to 100 years in prison is very slim to none. But I do think they're going to try to somewhat throw the book at him just because he's been such an annoying, loudmouth figure that has always, in the public eye, done things very sketchy-like, very manipulative, and he's just, just a horrible person. And then you can tell it's it's all over his smug face. But yeah, so I think the main lesson here for everyone is stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Avenatti, you should have never, should have never, ever have went after a company the size of Nike. You shouldn't go after anybody. But you shouldn't have did it to uh, Nike. They got your number. They got your number. You're. What do you? What? Are, what do you really think you are, Michael Avenatti? Who do you really think you are? You represented a porn star. Failed at that case, and then during the Brett Kavanaugh hearings, you represented a, just some random woman that was lying through her teeth. That got thrown away. I don't understand how your ego is so big when you fail so much. But yeah, so it looks like uh, Michael Avenatti is inevitably going to spend some time in a federal prison. Let's see what happens. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you all on the flip side.